guys, Matty from Extreme Auto, Caravan and Camping with you again today. Another gigantic off-grid job, pretty cool. 560 amp hours of custom-made Powerpool lithium batteries here. Both have the continual discharge of 250 amps. Pretty cool. So we've got the 560 amp hours there. We've gone for the uh, the Multi Plus 12 3120, and that is set for 120 amps of fast charging. So when old mate's plugged in the mains, he's able to fast charge these batteries at 120 amps. That's really quick if you want to get going fast off of mains. So we've rewired this one again. So this had chassis mounted battery boxes. Um, absolute mess as they all are. Um, you know, blade fuses on top, covered in dirt, really horrible. This is how I like to do it. Running all the midi fuses up there, keeping it all on the high current side of things with thick cable. All labeled, nice and easy to read. Diesel heater, DC charger, your solar, everything's there, it's all easily accessible. So we're running all of the Victron smarts on this one. So we've actually got two solar controllers on this. One to cover the large roof array, no shading issues on this one whatsoever. Old mate's got a vent completely removed for us so we can put a solar panel over it. So we managed to squeeze uh, 740, yeah, 740 watts of solar on this. So pretty good up there in the solar department. And he's able to replenish this lithium battery bank quite quick with that amount of solar. So Red Arc BC DC 1225 on this. So we're going for the 25 amp DC charger. So that's from the vehicle, 25 amps an hour charge rate. Um, we've also put the side input for solar for this because he runs two blankets for this, two different fold out blankets. So we've put an Anderson plug on the side that'll feed that. We've also put another small Victron um, smart solar controller on the side with another Anderson plug. So he's able to run two separate fold out panels and they won't sort of mix and match with, with each other. So they're running separately. Plus with the other solar controller and everything on the VE Direct with the smart shunt, what that means is all of the Victron stuff is shown up on the, the turbo or the servo touch 50 display. So we're able to control and see and do everything on this. Now, as with all the, the servos and turbos we do, we hook them up to Wi-Fi, so we're able to remotely monitor this caravan pretty much anywhere in, in Australia, as long as you're, you know, you've got Wi-Fi signal and um, you know internet service there. Doesn't matter if you don't, it's purely a monitoring thing for, for me to remotely check the system to see if it's up to par, you know, your solar production and everything. Now we're going for a fridge temp in this, um, as with the other ones. So little sensors inside the fridge there showing fridge temp, and that's on the VRM portal as well. So it fully logs the temperature over time. I can see, you know, if he's driving along and the fridge, because it is a three-way fridge, um, while he's driving along, if the fridge is maintaining its temperature on 12 volt, uh, which I've gone over and repaired as well. So there it is, guys, a pretty big setup. This is off grid. Pull over anywhere, press a button, you know, coffee machine, kettle, microwave, toaster, hair dryer, the full kit caboodle. We have upgraded the air conditioner for made on this. We've gone for the Medic Harrier light. This is a smaller van, so only a little 18, 19 footer. So uh, we put the light on this. They are super efficient. So running the air conditioner on this during the day, not a problem. Absolutely not a problem. During the night, um, you know, 40 to 70, 30 to 60 amps, yeah, thereabouts. It is variable. Run it on night mode, which is I, I, I try and tell everyone to do with these Harriers. Um, put it on night mode, they use bugger all. Really easy to use. Got the remote, set it and forget. So all of the outlets are able to be used from these batteries in this. So that's your coffee machine over there in the kitchen. The outside outlet, if you're running an induction cooker and you wanna cook in the wind without any sort of energy loss, Everything. The ones by the bed, and this model's got the USBs installed in the uh, GPOs in this, so no more external plugs with all these wires. It is, it's it's the same wherever you go. Caravan park, side of the road, at the flick of a button, push of a touch screen, everything just works. It is a really cool way to set your vans up. This is the future, this is where everything's going, completely off grid, running all of your appliances without the hassle of just sticking with 12 volt. Yeah, even TVs, you don't, you don't have to run a 12 volt TV if you don't want to now. And you know, we all know that the 12 volt industry and 12 volt TVs, the manufacturing on the small side of things, there are some TVs that are smart at 12 volt, but they're very pricey. We all know that they're 500 plus dollars, um, some of them. So having a 240 volt TV, 
they're pretty cheap and you can get them from anywhere you know harvey norman all the big places they all sell them and yeah you, know, you can get a decent sized tv they all still got the uh, the nest mount on the back which is for your little pivotable arm and you know you can have a 240 volt tv now you know buy another one use it outside if you want it it doesn't limit you when you've got a system like we do on the factory overlay setup so because this is an overlay setup that means it runs on all of your factory outlets there's no interference um, you're able to do that all your household devices bring it along with you if you want to run them this has the ability to do it it is so simple and easy very cool to use now as far as monitoring is concerned all of this has all the smarts on it so that's Bluetooth so if he's sitting outside and he wants to see what's going on you open up his phone and view it all solar both solar controllers and obviously the smart shunt which is the battery system so he's able to monitor all of that from his phone outside really cool and easy if you don't want to step inside and have a look at the screen which is quite easy to use and we've mounted the screen at head height here nice and easily accessible this has a timer so it will dim and you can go through the settings and play with that as you will so to turn the inverter on and off is as simple as this charger only is generally where it lives that's off now, so all mains power is off. As soon as we turn this to the on position, there's the beat. That's the AC ready to go. Obviously, we might as well turn that on now. Let's go for, uh, and we'll go full bore, why not? There it is. And obviously the microwave is on now. Oh, there we go. Running the microwave and the air conditioner at the same time again. Got a habit of putting these under good load, guys, so you can see what they can do. Now, the AC hasn't ramped up yet, of course, so I can hear it starting to roll on up there. And just for shits and giggles, let's put the uh, kettle on at the same time. How good are these power pool battery, guys? Look at that. 370. 380. <laughs> I should turn that back on. Hope I remember to take the pillow out of the uh, microwave there. <laughs> but look at that. Monstrous. This is nearly 5,000 watts from these batteries. I am loving these batteries. How good is this setup? Now, this is what happens when you do it right, okay? When you use the quality quality that we, that we stick with. You know, we try to stick with really really thick cable monster monster stuff here and you know double runs as you can see per victron spec there and these don't even move they are absolutely awesome there we go guys we're on the vrm at the moment so that's live and you can see what's happening we've got fridge temperature up there this is what's happening right now in this van connected through the internet the uh, victron remote portal there i'll bring it back up to the Back up to that there, because I might as well turn the microwave on again. That's pretty cool. Microwave, kettle, air conditioner, all at the same time. Monstrous. How's that for a discharge, guys? We're off grid here, you know, middle of the bush. Absolutely perfect. Loving it. How good is this, guys? So these guys have just hitched up. They're about to head back to New South Wales, and I ordered them to roll into the sun so we can get some good good sun on the roof now we're still in a bit of dappled light here so it's um it's kind of what we're dealing with i managed to get a fair bit of light up there now check out that charge rate how good's that this is off-grid living at its finest pretty cool really awesome charge rates so if i were to put the ac on while he's driving we're able to do that and charge at the same time that's big power it's it's still quite early so this this solar is going to continue to rise there we go look at that big power guys run the air conditioner while you're driving why not we also installed the wire tire system on this for vehicle security when these guys leave their campsite so simple press the button the whole caravan is alarmed for theft if it gets towed away it locks on the brakes Flashes of lights and sounds a pretty loud horn. Really good for, um, you know, if you want that extra security when you do leave your, your caravan at a free camp or, where, or in storage or wherever. And, you know, grabs the brakes. Really hard to tow a caravan with the brakes locked on. And these are just good added peace of mind for when you store your van.